Welcome, my name is Nick. This is Nick's Fort. Today I'm going to dive into an intermediate color grading tutorial for Premiere Pro. If you've never done color grading, then you're gonna wanna go watch the color grading basic first. It's not too much, but it's a good start. If you've already seen that, then this is the next step. Intermediate color grading, Premiere Pro. Let's get, oh, before we get into it, if you're new here, I do filmmaking tutorials every week. You can subscribe below if you dig it. And also, uh, I got my hot dog shirt on, which is chill AF. Let's get into Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have my clip on my timeline and I've made an adjustment layer right here. And I'm gonna do my color grading on the adjustment layer. So I'm actually just gonna lock my clip down here. I'm on my adjustment layer. And I have my Lumetri scopes open over here. We are in the color tab up top. If you go down to this little handle, you can adjust what scopes you have. So I have my waveform up and I have it set to Luma, which is just gonna show me the light dark values versus this is gonna show the color values for the red, blue, and green. For this tutorial, I am just gonna keep it on Luma. And over on this side, you can see we're at 100 up here with this line and down here is zero. Those are uh, the end values for our color grading and I'll get to that more in a second. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the basic correction tab. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. I'm gonna expose, bring the exposure up and I'm gonna make the block of exposure right here even between the zero and the hundred, more or less. So the space between the very bottom, which is my blacks to zero, that space right there is pretty similar to the space between my highlights up here and the 100. So my exposure is at 1.2 to achieve that. So that's all I'm gonna do in the basic correction tab because I know that I had my white balance correct over here, so I'm not even gonna touch that. As we're doing this grade, uh, the footage that you're looking at was filmed on my Sony A7S II and it was shot in an S-Log picture profile if you want to know how I set up my Sony cameras, I'll link above. The video is about an A7R 3 but the settings more or less apply to the A7S II, and you can kind of see how I filmed that footage to get it to a point where you can really get a lot out of the color grade. The next tab that I'm gonna click is either gonna be curves or the color wheels and match. So if I go to curves right now, I'm gonna do a simple S curve. So you're gonna put a center dot right there. I'll redo that so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna, at this axis right here, I'm gonna click here, put a dot, and I'm gonna drag that up, and that's your highlights. And you can see on the left, on my waveform, bringing it up almost to 100. I'm gonna keep it a little less. I'm actually gonna bring it down just a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna do another dot down here, click and drag for my darks, for my blacks, and I'm gonna bring those down. And so if I bring them all the way down, I'm gonna lose that information. You don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna bring it right about there. And then I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna jump down to color wheels and color match. And I'm gonna play with the shadows a little bit. And as I'm doing this, if I bring the shadows down just a little bit, bring them up a little bit. And as I'm color grading, I'm always gonna be looking at the image itself and see how and seeing how this is affecting it. Bring up the mid-tones and that's gonna bring the middle of that waveform up a little bit. Mm, it's a little much for me right there. I'm gonna play with the highlights, bring them up, bring them down just right about there. And I'm gonna bring the shadows down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back over to curves and I'm gonna see if I bring this down right there. And then if I click on this bottom one right here and I lift that up, that's gonna lift my floor up a little bit and that's gonna give it like that faded look. So if I go right there and then I'm just gonna bring that just a little, oh, right. So I don't like to crush the blacks all the way. I like to keep them there. That's pretty contrasty, but I kind of like that. All right, and then if you click up here, you can see the before and after. So it's pretty popping on the white right now. So I might go up to my basic tab. I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a smidge. Uh, I don't really like that. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna bring my mid-tones up a, a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. 
So that's a pretty quick color grade right there on the footage. And we'll give you a little before and after here. So if I click on my comparison tab, and I click that right there, and we do this, do it like that. So you have before and after on that quick grade. As we play with the different parameters from the curves to the color wheels to the basic tab, that is going to allow you to manipulate your, your waveform in that data. And you're kind of like stretching it out and pulling it and pulling it and moving sections. So you're gonna move the shadows up and then you drop your blacks down or you, you bring your mid tones down and you bring your highlights up and it's gonna affect the image differently. And, and you really wanna do it to your own taste. So color grading is all about you and what you like, which is so, so cool. Play around and try these different things out as you're color grading your footage and you're gonna learn what you like and what you don't like and, and how you spread out that information. Don't hit 100 on the top. Don't hit zero on the bottom. That's gonna add noise to your image and blow out your highlights and crush your blacks and it looks like trash. So those are, those are good rules to not break unless you were doing some funky thing where you really were like trying to do that on purpose. Before you guys take off, I have something special to share with you. So if you, for the first five people that leave a productive, meaningful, real comment below, the first five people that do that, and you send me a DM at Nick's Fort on Instagram, I'm gonna send you my LUT pack for color correcting for free. I will get your email and I will send it to you and you can have my LUTs up to date for free. So enjoy that. And if you miss that opportunity, the link to my LUT library is below. So you can still go check those out. You can still drop a comment below. I love chatting with you guys. So please do that. It is something that I totally dig about this channel. If you dig this video, give that thumbs up. Oh, clickety clackety, AKA you click the thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, you can subscribe below. And if you are subscribed, turn on the notifications and join the squad. And uh, until next time, I hope you enjoy color grading and I'll see you, see you guys soon. Peace.